Look at these little rascals. Immediately came out to chew on my tripod. What are you guys doing? Andy. Andy! Hi everyone, welcome back to the tiny herd. I have two little rambunctious wild buns here, but it has been a while since I have made a video. So I wanted to do an update, tell you what has been going on with Mikey's health, tell you what's been going on with the boy pigs, tell you how things have been going, and then give you a huge update and then kind of talk about my YouTube plans and everything. So I will go ahead Everybody hopped out of frame. I will go ahead and start this video. It's probably going to be a little bit of a long one, but thought you guys would like to know what's going on and why there hasn't been a video in a while. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so excuse the mess first off. I need to do some cleaning today, but I wanted to go ahead and make this video. So you can see Mikey over here drinking water. And then Andy's, I don't, he's just hopping around doing his thing. So I'll go ahead and start off with updates on the bunnies. So I made a video not too long ago about Mikey's health issues and he's been back and forth to the vet a whole bunch of times. He's been on medication. So I think the last thing that I had said was he had e -cuniculi, e cuniculi, if I'm saying that correctly which is like a parasite type thing, so he was on medication for that. Well, I had taken him back to the vet for a checkup because he wasn't getting any better. There was no change, pretty much. So I decided to take him back to the vet for a checkup, and she ended up sedating him. And once she sedated him, she was able to get a good look inside both his ears, she was able to look at his teeth. She basically was able to do a more comprehensive checkup on him. So in doing that, she realized that, one, she didn't think that he actually had E. cuniculi. So we decided to stop medicating him for that because he wasn't quite done with his medicine yet. And she actually found out that his left ear, the eardrum, was completely ruptured. So that was part of the reason why he was having so many issues. So she went ahead and did a culture of the a swab that she did of his ear. She, we went ahead and had it sent out for a culture. And she didn't think it was going to come back with anything because he didn't show signs of an infection. But turns out he had some kind of bacteria in his ear. So we put him on antibiotics. And as you can see, he looks a lot better. Um... He got almost 100% better and then we went off the medication because we had finished the course of it and then, um, sorry, Andy Bun. <laughs> he says, I want the attention mom, talk about me. Um, but Mikey is still on antibiotics because I think he actually started tilting his head the other way. You can see that he's still a little bit tilting. So we are still on antibiotics. Um, but he's doing a ton better. He will come out of his room. He'll hop around. He doesn't really have balance issues anymore. He just has a little bit of a head tilt and, um, just, he's just not quite a hundred percent, but he's pretty close. So glad he's definitely doing better. Um, Andy is doing perfectly fine. We cut most of his hair off. You can tell maybe he's a little bit less fluffy, but we've cut most of his hair off. We've got almost all of the mats out. So... Um, I think what's going to be best and easiest for us is to just keep his hair shorter. So he will be getting haircuts more often. So that's what we're going to do. Sorry for the really dirty cage, but look at this piglet. She has her eyes closed. She has her eyes closed. You can see how dirty her cage is. All right. Let's get back in focus here. So that is the main update on the bunnies. They're doing good. We're still working on getting Mikey back to 100%, but he's definitely doing better. He's eating a lot better. He, I think, gained a little bit of weight back, so they're doing good. 
So there's the update on the buns. For the girl piglets, I don't even know if you can see any of them. I think Callie's laying underneath that pink tunnel. You can see Lily's butt. I think that sticker's blocking Bell Pig though. But the girl pigs are all doing great. They're all healthy and perfectly fine. The girls are four years old, so they're getting into senior years, but they're all doing great. We're going to be taking them in for checkup soon, or at least Bell Pig, because I think Bell Pig might be slowing down just a little bit, and I just want to make sure she's doing well, but, I mean, like I said, she's getting older, so them slowing down a little bit would be expected. They definitely enjoy their comfy beds, and they still get all excited for treats and fresh hay, so... They're definitely all still doing good. So not much to say about the girl pigs. And then we can talk about these little boy pigs. This one in particular. So obviously they're hard to tell apart. This is Freddy. Georgie is napping. But Freddy went to the vet. Well, they both went to the vet this past week. Um, so I took them to the vet because you probably can't see it. But on his back end here, on his back hip, um, he had like a weird spot that looked like a sore that just wasn't healing. And it wasn't bothering him. He wasn't bothering it. George doesn't bother it. But nothing that I was putting on it was making any difference and it wasn't going away. So I just wanted to get it checked out. So I took them in. They're both perfectly healthy. They're both doing great. They got good teeth. She said they were doing fine. Um, he just has basically a cyst under the skin so um it's not really anything to worry about it's just kind of there um we just watch it and make sure they're not bothering it and make sure it doesn't um because it might drain we just have to make sure that it doesn't get infected or anything so um we just leave it for now if they start bothering it then we'll get it removed but as of right now neither one of them care that it's there so we just let him be doesn't bother him they both got baths yesterday because they were little smelly boys because they hadn't got a bath since they had been adopted and they were kept in too small of a cage. So they definitely needed baths to get some of the, I think, dried pee and stuff off of them. So they got probably the one full bath that they will ever get. They might get butt baths in the future, but... They shouldn't need baths very much unless they're just really dirty boys. So they're doing good. Like I said, they're healthy. They got the seal of approval from the vet. So they are doing well. See, you can see right here that Mikey's still tilted the other direction a bit. But that is really the updates on all the pets. They're all doing well. S sorting out some health issues, but nothing major. So my other big piece of news and kind of going over my YouTube plans, I will be coming back to YouTube but probably not for another month. Um, I might have a couple videos that I've filmed previously that I edit and put up but we'll see how things go because Pig Dad and I have bought a new house. So it was very unexpected. We weren't planning on buying a new house but we found something that's going to work perfect for us. So we are in the process of buying a new house and getting all of that stuff squared away so we will be packing and packing up the pets and getting ready to move so we're going to be very busy for the next month or so so I know I haven't posted in a while and that's kind of why there's just been a lot going on and now we're going to have even more going on so I will be getting back once we get settled in the new house I will have even more space for the pets and more space to film and all that kind of thing so I definitely will be thinking about ideas of things to film and you'll get some good videos of organizing the pet room and setting it up and a tour of where everything is once we get settled. So that is our exciting news. So just give me like a month or two guys and I will be back to making videos. I just wanted to give an update and explain why I haven't been making videos and explain what's been going on with the pets. So reassure you guys that everybody's good. All seven of the fur children are doing just fine, getting them back to health and enjoying our winter. We're snowed in right now, actually. If you guys show you guys what the outside looks like, actually. 
if I can get my tripod to move. Sorry, I just probably made you really dizzy. Look at our outside. We are absolutely snowed in. We got like 13 inches of snow. And the town over that I work in got literally two feet of snow. So we are fully snowed in. But all the pets are obviously warm and safe inside. So we're just hanging out. Trying to get warm. Everybody is warm. <laughs> Pig mom's trying to get warm. But everybody's doing good. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. If you want to follow us on Instagram, it's the tiny herd. Um, I've been posting some updates on there. You can see pictures of the boys getting bass yesterday. So I am trying to keep that updated. But if you want to go ahead and subscribe and get ready for the new videos, there will be new videos. We just got to get settled first. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. We will be back. Follow us on Instagram. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.